Hey everybody, welcome to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. On today's video, as you saw in the title, we're gonna be testing the actual power draw of not one, not two, but three LED grow lights. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've had a lot of comments on people asking, hey, if LEDs are so much more efficient, why does it say a thousand watts in the title? Or why does it say 600 watts? Shouldn't it be drawing a lot less power? Um, people are under the common misconception that the labeled title of that LED grow light is gonna be what it's actually drawing. Now this is all kind of a really silly paradigm because everything may be titled a thousand watt LED grow light. While that is meant to replace a thousand watt HPS bulb or high pressure sodium bulb. So it's not necessarily the amount of power that it draws, that is actually what it should be replacing. So I really understand how it might be easy to get these two things confused. And I will say I don't, this happens every time I record. I always record at the same time that my lights go out. <laughs> Let me go turn the switch on. I will say right off the bat, while an LED grow light like this may be labeled to replace a 500, 600, or 1000 watt HPS bulb, you're not gonna get the same grow results as you would from those grow lights. But nonetheless, LED are really cheap and have actually increased in their quality over the last couple of years. And in most people's situations, they'll work just fine. We're gonna start off with this first LED here, which is a Grossyland 500 model. So it's meant to replace a 500 watt grow light. Okay, right now it is drawing, leveling out at 128 watts for this grow light. So not 500 watts. 128 watts. Next up, we have a light from GrowStar, which has these Cree cob lights in the middle and is meant to replace a 600 watt grow light. Now the GrowStar, which actually does look a little bit brighter than the uh, Grossy Land one did, but it is pulling 123 watts right now. Once again, not the 600 that a lot of you might think it would draw. And finally, we have this grow light that is meant to replace a thousand watt LED grow light, and it's by Aokrian. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's just a cheap grow light from Amazon. Since this light's supposed to replace a thousand watts, you think that it would draw more power, but we'll see. It's drawing 102 watts. Now, I chose this one last because I wanted to talk about why sometimes these numbers can be misleading as well. It's because I don't think that light is gonna replace a thousand watt HPS bulb, no matter what. Um, it doesn't seem very much brighter than these other ones, and that's gonna be in a future video when I get a meter to actually see how bright these lights will be. Um, but with a light advertised like that, and with it being so cheap, you're really not gonna get the output that you're expecting, but nonetheless, it was like a $50 grow light, you're still gonna get a lot of good growth on your plants. And with that color spectrum too, it's not quite um, as annoying. I always say if you're gonna buy a grow light, make sure that it's like a daylight full spectrum grow light. So you don't have that pink hue going throughout your whole house and it just messes with your vision, makes things look all funny. So what have we learned today? Make sure you pay attention to the details of the listing whenever you buy a LED grow light because it can oftentimes be misleading on how bright the, the light is actually gonna be, how much power it's drawing, and what it's truly going to replace. And you also wanna pay attention to the wavelength of light that is getting to your plants. Different wavelengths can do different things to your plants, whether it be in a vegetative state or if it's flowering and blooming, you're trying to get it to bloom essentially. So do a little bit of research on those couple of things and hopefully you can find the right LED light for you. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I wish you all a happy gardening adventure as always and click the box right up here to move on to the next video. Thank you guys, take care.